Welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing. Um, this is going to be a different video. <laughs> uh, if one of you, any of you, were wondering where um, my December Anglers Hall um, review box unboxing uh, video went, well, Anglers Hall, uh, I contacted them normally every month on the first they'll deduct the payment for my Angler's Hall. I pay for the advance box. The advance box is $109.99. Um, and with that, you get everything that's in the Pro Box, plus you get additional items, giving a total round value for my particular tier of a round $160 uh, per month in value of items, products. So on the first, they take it. Normally, um, they get their stuff together. They get the different manufacturers to ship in their items monthly. And you can see the Angler's Hall uh, drop in your mailbox and show up at your front door somewhere within the end of the second week or middle of the third week of the month. All right, So it's not something that's going to show up immediately on the first week of the month. Uh, it would be great if it did, but it's not something I expect. However, uh, I keep track, as with everything, I keep track of when the subscriptions post when my package or my, my subscription is fulfilled, the fulfillment status of my order, and then I can generally ascertain when my package is going to show up. That didn't happen in December. Uh, first week went by, I expected to see something in email uh, on the second week, that didn't happen. Uh, by mid-third week, I contacted them, and what came to be is they were waiting on one of the manufacturers to ship out the lot of the item that they ordered for this for December, December almost said this month, but for December's um, box. So, in lieu of having that item, which I assume was one of the main items for the for the shipment, uh, they just withheld shipping them. Obviously, with um, you know Christmas and everything, knowing that it wasn't going to ship uh, in time for Christmas, and it would have been caught in in limbo during that time, and you wouldn't want to get your packages lost. Uh, they kind of withheld, waited for the product to show up in their warehouses, package up all the boxes, and they shipped them out. Well, lo and behold, the 3rd of January, they got their item, and they shipped them out. And now it is, I believe, the 6th or the 7th, uh, and yay. My Angler's Hall for December has shown up. Um... The size of the box is a lot different. Obviously, the Angler's Hall advanced boxes, uh, you know, are typically a little bit smaller. Um, last month, and uh, well, November, we got uh, just a single item being that that rod. Uh, normally, you get a box and an extra item if it's shipped separate from the manufacturer. If the advanced item to to val to boost the value is a separate item, you'll get two separate shipments. In, in that case, we didn't. I in the advanced tier, and I'm sure or assuming that everyone in the advanced tier, we did not get the pro box level items. We strictly got the one item that was the full value of our uh, subscription. Um, I'm neither here nor there with that. Uh, you know, part of me is kind of deterred because uh, they do state that as an advanced member, you get everything in the pro box plus additional items to bring the value up from. Uh, $70 up to $160, or, or $60 up to $160. Um, so, you know, whatever. The, the, the rod was a decent rod. I'm very happy and pleased to have that extra rod. So, it, it's, I'm neither here nor there with that. Um, but again, that was, a, that was an offshoot. It was something different. It was a bit of a curveball. This, again, was a bit of a curveball. So, I apologize for the late deployment of this video. Uh, and you can tell by the, sub, the, the, the thumbnail for this video, it's kind of hokey. It is now January, but we are going to be looking at the December Angler's Hall box. So without further ado, I'll keep it a little bit off. Uh, it's a bigger box this, this month, or for the December month. Um, obviously, there's probably something in here that's pretty uh, substantial in size. So we'll see how we go. Now, I have no affiliation directly with uh, Angler's Hall. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not giving these boxes for free. I order every single month like anybody else. I get my box. I pay full price. 
I do that because unlike a lot of unboxers that get into these cooperative deals, um, pro staff, promotional staff, I want to give you an honest reflection of how I feel and I'm not a good actor. I don't edit these videos, I just go straight off the top of my head, there, there's no script, I don't have a teleprompter, I have a, a chintzy old, uh, you know, um, SD card recording 720p camera and a couple of lights, <laughs> you know, it is, it is as raw and as real as I can possibly convey. So what my opinions are, what my intellectual ideas about certain things, that's straight from the top of my head. I don't think these things through ahead of time. So it's, it's as, as close to honest as you can get coming across, you know, the internet. Um, I just don't feel that people that get these boxes for free can give you a raw gut reaction to what they get, whether it's a value or not of a value. Because really, if they got a lollipop and a crankbait, they got it for free. You know, it's, it's aces. I paid 110 bucks for this. I want $110 worth of value. I want better than 110 because that's what they promote and that's what they, uh, you know, obviously market. So, with every angler's haul, you're going to get a what's in the card or what's in the in the box card. Um, the way that angler's haul works over mystery tackle box, lucky tackle box, monster bass, all the other box tackle subscription uh, companies. Angler's Hall is not about baits primarily. They focus on utilitarian aspects. They focus on rods and reels and knives and, and clippers and, and things like that. You will get baits and terminal tackle and those kinds of things in these boxes periodically. Uh, I haven't seen what's in here. I, I'm, I just opened it so I see there's a big... I know what that is. <laughs> I looked down and I saw the tag. Um, but uh, you, you're looking at things that will help you go out and fish, not just help you catch fish. So uh, with the advanced tier, you're going, there's two tiers, a pro tier and an advanced tier. With the pro tier, you'll get a series of items in a, typically a smaller box. When you go up the extra money for the advanced tier, you're going to see additional items added. You will get all the original pro tier uh, items, typically, uh, in except for obviously the exception of November. Uh, but then with the advanced, Pay, the extra payment that you put in, you're getting added items that boost the value of your of your purchase of your subscription. So uh, the way it runs down, I'll walk over because this is a little bit different dealing in here of our, our little foul mouth fisherman family crustacean over there. But the way this runs down is you have your pro box tier and all the items. You can pause that if you like if you're a pro box subscriber, and then as an advanced box subscriber, they add additional items. So you see the Plano and the Cast King. These two items were added specifically because I paid the extra extra cost to get into the advanced tier. So what do we have for last month? <laughs> so the December's Angler's Hall Pro Box tier starts with uh, a dual hardcore suspending shad. So this is a dual realis. Dual. Dual. Dual hardcore suspending. It is a 3 inch, 75 millimeter, 3 eighths ounce or 10 gram suspending jerk bait. So cold water, cold water value, definitely worthwhile. You're looking at uh, a nice little chartreuse, orange belly. I'll pop it out of here. You're going to get, it's not a bad crank bait, or I should say jerk bait. So. Let's do this and not stick myself. Cause, yay! Well, they wire tied the, the hooks together. That's good. It does have two small BBs inside. You can hear that. Um, she again, she's 10 grams or 3 8 ounce. And let's see, casting it casts 30 meters or 33 yards. Um, Ghost Pearl Chartreuse is the color scheme that they've given this. Nice 3D eyes, a good bill set. Uh, it's got one of those wide um, almond, like almost a, you know, um, leaf shaped paddle bills. It's not a square bill. It's not that, uh, that teardrop bill. It's more of a, I don't know, it's almost like a spoon bill. It's a spoon bill style jerk bait. Um, this is their 
Hardcore Shad 750, uh, 75, excuse me, SP for obviously suspending. So, uh, it doesn't give me a diving characteristic of depth, unfortunately, on the box, because it's all in Japanese, which is not a bad thing. JDM products, I always welcome having JDM products. It's got a JDM and a U.S. patent, obviously, because it's coming from overseas. It has to be repatented for the U.S. market for distribution. It has a, a magnetic lock, so the BBs will ride forward, hang up on, on some magnets in the front, and then, obviously, it has a release for those magnets where it'll drop the BBs on cast. So this way, when you're casting, it'll go tail heavy. You'll get those nice bomb casts. It'll settle in, nose down. The BBs will run back to that magnet in the front, and it'll give you that nice wobble uh, in, in your retrieve. So that's, that's a good thing. I like that. The value on that is $12.99. Now, that's a, a harsh value, but it is a JDM jerkbait. And typically, I, I see those being in the $8, 10 12 15 16 $18 range, even on baits, uh, small ones at that. Next in the Pro Box, we have a Yozuri's 8-pound hybrid line. So we got some Fluoro. So we got a hybrid, Fluoro Nylon Hybrid, 8-pound clear, 275 yards. It runs... Uh, 0.011 diameter in inches. Again, this is a JDM because it's Yozuri. Uh, I like Yozuri products. I love their crankbaits. Um, so having uh, a little bit of fluorocarbon from them, although it says fluorocarbon nylon hybrid, so this is a fluoro coating. This isn't 100% fluorocarbon. This will be a, a nylon mono with a fluorocarbon coating. So it'll go through your guides a lot smoother because of that coating. It's going to run a little bit clearer in the water, a little you know, more transparent uh, for the fish, but it is not a true fluoro. Pretty slick. It doesn't seem to, sh to shave off. I like, I'm a weird person. I like to take, anytime I'm doing with mono or fluoro, uh, or especially fluoro clad lines, I like to take what little fingernails I have, or I'll take um, you know a razor blade, and I take the end of the of the line, and I rake the blade over top of it, and I basically just want to see if you know how it takes chafing. So by doing so, and then if you hold it up to the light, you'll see the multiple rings where it's chafed, and the 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 cladding around the outside, or if in case it's a solid mono or solid fluoro, the material will actually break free. And you'll see the rings where it's been where it's been chafed. And also, if it's a clad, sometimes you can actually see, if you look really, really closely, especially in our microscope, you'll see the discoloration and the, the two layers. Um, I don't know, it's something that I've done for years, but it's just it's a weird thing. So this is again eight pound. This is a pretty good uh, stout stout clad uh, line. I like it. It does run smooth. Um, it's going to break off if you're, if you're not careful. Always, always lubricate your line when you're making every knot. Lubricate your knots and you won't have uh, part-offs. It just always protect yourself. Uh, hybrid line, 8 pounds, a good 275 yards. It's not like a 100-yard, 150-yard, so that's good. This one runs $9.99. That's an excellent value. 275 yards of a, of a line, for, of 8 pound for 10 bucks and it's a name brand like Yuzuri, I'll take that. Again, in Pro Box. Uh, Missiles, Baits, Warlock, Shaky Heads. So, ooh, ooh, I just moved something out of the way that I'm happy to see. We'll get to that big boy later. Alrighty. So we got some Corkscrew Keeper, 3 16th Shaky Head Jig Heads. There's a pack of three. By Missile Baits. These are Warlock. Again, these are that flat bottom uh, shaky head design. It's got that cup in there, which I do like the way that that cup sits because it allows plastics, especially creature baits, um, really, really, really good on on um, not so much a Kitek, but a fluke bait, like the typical fluke uh, soft plastic. This cutout, this little 
U-shaped gouge in the top of the head allows that bait to, to sit right down flush to nose in to that hook keeper, that corkscrew uh, hook keeper. So it really does add that perfect feeding action when you're jigging this on the bottom of, uh, of a lake. Again, these are, you know, missile baits, super sticky, scratch my nail, super sticky uh, hooks, nail test, um, corkscrew keeper, very nice paint job, eyes are nice and clean, I always approve of that, I don't like to have to poke out the eyes, I do keep, um, you know, anybody who's seen any of my past channels knows I keep a multi-tool that has a little rasp that I can use to clean out the eyelets of jig heads and uh, and crankbaits and anything else that becomes painted um, when sometimes a less than uh, high quality manufacturer I will buy you know cheap dollar bin stuff and you just got to clean out the the paint the overspray and the, the dripping um, just to make sure you can tie on these three pack of 316s are four dollars and 99 cents so that's not a bad shake yet I do like again like I like that little coat because your bait's gonna, it's gonna settle and nest into that, so it's not like the the bait is stuck above the weight. The weight becomes literally part of the head profile of your soft plastic, and that's always uh, good for, you know, not the fish are super smart, but anything that lends to more of a natural presentation, uh, more of a, a natural and true biological analog, I like to go with. I'm just a nerd like that. Uh, next, another Missile Baits product. So that's two missile baits. This time it's a soft plastic. We have the missile baits, the 48 plastic worm. All right, so brown purple flash. This is called the 48. It is scented or not scented? Scented mildly with anise. It is like a green pumpkin with a purple flake. They call it brown purple flake or brown purple flash, I should say. So you've got a lot of glitter going on there. It's got uh, some mild little ribs, not a whole lot. So this is definitely more finesse -y. This is perfect for cold water. Um, dragon, dragon soft plastic worms on dead, wa on, on dead sticking or um, doing your old drop shots, doing your, your you know, Texas rigging them and uh, in the cold winter water hours because let's get this right there is a misconception that fish are lethargic uh, during the winter they are a cold buttered creature so cold water will slow their metabolism slow their slow their their response down they are less apt to be active as much as they would in the summer months when they're warm water and and they can just dart and go and do whatever. This is not 100% uh, based on the cold water. The true fact is, it's more than just the bass itself, the, 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 the predator fish itself. It is as much the prey fish as it is the predator. Their forage during the cold winter will slow down. The crayfish move slower. Uh, shad, shiners, minnows, they all move slower. They're also, you know, cold-blooded creatures. So when the prey fish slow down, the predators don't have to be as active to catch their prey. Along with that, their own lethargy, their own lethargic actions, will make them less of an attacker and more of an opportunist. So, the keys to things like shaky heads uh, and, and, and a, a fluke-style bait, uh, dropping slightly smaller baits with fainter wiggling actions and of course slow rolling over cover or along docks or over branches and, and down trees worms is that you're imitating the lethargy, the lethargic actions, the slow pace of the bait fish of the prey and the predator, your bass that you're going for, are going to need to be coerced into saying, yeah, uh, you know, expending the extra energy to go over there and grab that or to dart out from my cover up against this tree log. It's right there. It's two, three inches away. Okay, I'll go for it. You have to convince them of that. They're not just going to go, oh, it's six inches over there. I'm hungry. Let me go after that. It's more like, eh, it's over there. I'll just wait for something better to come along. I'll wait for a better opportunity. So these kinds of baits, little bit
bit more mild tempered, a lot more finesse, a lot less action will pay off. That said, any bait, any time will catch a fish, no matter what. Um, if a fish is in tune to hunt, it will go after, you know, a moving bait. But, as with anything, the jerk baits, standard cold water winter months procedure. You know, throw it out far as you can, up against cover, jerk it a couple of times and let it sit. Pause it for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 seconds. Jerk, pause it for 5, 10, 15 seconds. Jerk, 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 pause it for another 10, 15, 30 seconds. What you're doing is you're keeping it in the fish's eyes, in the, in the predator's eyes. You're keeping this right in its nose. The longer that it sits there and tantalizes them, and they think, well, it's not going to run away. It's not going to take so much energy. Let me go after it. It's an opportunity. I'm not going to pass it up. If you're just buzzing baits, they're like, you know, I'll just wait for something lazier to come along. I, I don't want fast food. I want a four-course dinner. You know, I want, I want slow-roasted potatoes. I don't want french fries. And, and that's really <laughs> the best analogy my crazy head could come up with. They want, they want something a little bit more substantial for a lot less effort during the cold water season because that's what everything is during the cold water season. The prey is going to be more lethargic and thus the predators aren't going to be as necessarily feeling like they need to be aggressive. It's not that they're they're just a uh, you know attuned to, to slow down because of the cold water themselves. It's because everything around them slows down. Um, there's the grass dies off, changes out, so they don't have the the cover that they used to. So the prey doesn't have the cover that it used to. So the bass doesn't have to kind of scare it out of the grass flats, out of the 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 trees, and then get it to to go out in the clear water and then attack it. They, they don't have to. They can see it. They know where it is. So these kinds of things I keep in the back of my mind during this time of year. Not, I'll be honest, I'm a fair weather fisherman. I don't like to fish if the temperature in the, you know, is 40 degrees and the water's 42. Uh-uh. No, this, it's too cold on these hands. All right. That concludes the Pro Box. Those worms, $4.99. Sorry, I went on a rant. <laughs> so we have the dual hardcore suspending. Again, that's the key, suspending. Um, dual hardcore suspending jerkbait. This one's $12.99. We've got the Ozuri 8-pound hybrid line, the fluoro, uh, the fluoro coat. That's $9.99. You've got your Missile Baits Warlock Shaky Heads pack of three at 3 16ths ounce. That's $4.99. We've got the Missile Baits uh, package of their plastic worms, the 48s. And this, by the way, is an 8 quantity. Um, that is $4.99 as well. And finally, in the Pro Box... And this is what separates Angler's Hall more than anything away from Mystery Tackle Box, Monster Bass, uh, all the other subscriptions. A 1 3, not 13, 1 3, Fishing's Source X 3000 size series spinning reel. $40, $39.99. So it's a $40, you know, Walmart, uh, Dick's, whatever value um, spinning reel. Now, I've already gotten one 13 fishing reel, maybe two. Uh, from from Angler's Hall, so I'm always happy to get reels. I'm always happy to get rods. It's uh, let's see, two tone aluminum spool. Oh, whoop the freaking do! It's got a sticker on it. Yay! So it's got a black matte black painted aluminum spool, and they put a silver sticker around it. Yeah, kiss my butt. Thirteen. Anyway, uh, it has a uh, the one three soft touch handles, which I do like. I like their little soft touch. Uh, you know. It's not quite rubber. It's not kind of quite plastic. I do like them for their for their spinning reels, not or excuse me for their yeah for their for these types of reels. Um, this is a five one to one gear ratio. It's a six ball bearing reel. It has a high tensile strength rotor frame. Strong arm one piece aluminum handle. It's not one piece. I've never had a one piece handle. They're always multiple pieces because they hinge in the middle so that you can unscrew it, bend it out of the way when you're traveling, tighten it back up, and it's ambidextrous. It can go left or right side. So, anyway, let's uh, let's dispense with this and try to cut in. So I did bring my screw my 
happy dappy scissors with me. We're just going to have to uh, kind of fuss this up. But we'll get you out of here one way or another. By hook or by crook. Bear with me. It's been a long day. I have to be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, so in a little less than 12 hours. Alrighty, so you got yourself a nice decent reel. Here's those soft grip. Like I said, it's not quite plastic. It's, I mean, it's like almost, it attunes me to almost a poker chip. It's got that clay style feel to it. It's got the one, three fishings logo. Probably won't make it out. Maybe if I slowly roll it at some point in the shadow line, it'll come through. One, three, not 13. One, three, even says it right there on the, on the chrome sticker. One, three. And yes, it's a chrome sticker. And if you think I'm... I don't bullshit, I don't lie. It's a freaking sticker. I don't care about a darn sticker. Two-tone spool my butt. But I can peel a darn sticker off. I don't want it. Oh, it's taped on. It's sticker with tape. Well, that's, you sure as heck don't want your, your false two-tonage to go unnoticed, do you? It's gonna come off. I'm gonna gouge the hell out of it. I don't care. <laughs> so, uh, it's a decent, again, it's a 3,000 3, size, so that's a good size reel. Um, obviously, it probably worked really well. There goes your sticker. Goodbye, Chrome. See, you're a matte black powder coated, and that's better to hold my, my uh, spool to anyway. 1-3 Source X. 1-3 oh, garbage. All right, so... Or maybe they're talking about this little tiny chrome where they didn't paint on the aluminum there. It makes it two-tone. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, it's got... Does it have anti... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. So you got that stupid... I don't understand that. I, if, you're, if you're fishing for things like tarpon and, you know, you're saltwater fishing, then these come in definitely handy. But as a freshwater angler, you should set your drag properly and not have to worry about that. So you set your drag properly, you'll never have to back spool. You'll never have to, to click this over and reverse back to get to let line out so you don't break off. It's just drag is drag is the main thing for an angler. Learn how to cast with a bait caster, drag and thumbing are your keys. Learn how to cast with one of these, drag is your main your main thing. That's what keeps the fish pinned, that's what keeps the fish on between what style rod you've got and the amount of backbone it's got to, to really keep them pinned when they jump and the drag to keep that line just tight enough to keep that hook in their mouth so they don't throw it. But regardless, again, $39.99 for the 1.3 Fishing's Source X reel. I like it. It's good construction. It is solid one piece, uh, you know, outside aluminum frame. Um, but again, the handle, it's not a one-piece handle. I don't know why they marketed one-piece handle. It's a two-piece handle because it's got the hinge. You, know, you can fold it back. If it was a one-piece handle, you wouldn't be able to do that. It's actually like three or four pieces if you come to think of it because the handle knob is a piece screwed on. This armature that bends out of the way is a piece. The locking tensioner here is a piece. The, the, the arm that pivots into this, that metal pin, that goes all the way to the slock nut is a piece, and then the nut on the other end is a piece. So it's a multi-piece handle, and every single, well, all but two of these reels, of, of a spinning reel that I've ever owned, uh, have always had multi-piece handles. I've only owned two reels, spinning reels, where this handle literally did not come off, and it was one cast piece of, I believe it was, um, like die cast aluminum, uh, material and and one no one was brass one was a brass handle and then one was die cast um, but that you know aside from those two in my entire life 40 years um, they've always been multi-piece and that's always allowed me to be ambidextrous if I want to hand it off to a person who's, who reels with their right hand you just pop it out or I can reel it on left or right because it doesn't bother me either way cool and again this is this is one of the main things that separates this box and anglers hall from all the other companies is they give you tools, they give you reels, they give you rods, they give you baits as well. All right, so that concludes the Pro Box. So anybody who got the Pro, that's what you should have had. 
I bumping up the extra the extra money for the advanced tier. That was a seventy-two dollar and ninety-five cent value. The advanced tier comes with, and I'm probably assuming this was the item that they were waiting on uh, to get delivered, and why it held up shipment. First item, this big monster right here. It is a Plano's A Series backpack for sixty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Let's see, how do we get into this monster? Now, I have a uh, Ugly Stick sling. I'm not a big fan of the full pack, full backpack, uh, uh, fishing backpacks. Not knocking it, I'm going to use it. I might use my sling. What I might actually do is take my little, my little sling and make that my pan fishing uh, multi-species and throw this specifically for my, for my videos when I go to do uh, my bass fishing and things like that. So, it's, uh, it's a 3600 series Planos are in this. It's got that really durable canvas, those nice watertight, thick, heavy gauge zippers that I like. Good size pockets. You can get in your utility tools. You can put in those uh, waterproof um, containers. And I will outfit this with some waterproof containers and I'm going to give you a video later on, so pay attention, uh, hit that bell notification and subscribe. I'm going to go pick up and show you where you can get some very decent, good quality, hard plastic containers for your baits and tackle at a very, very cheap and reasonable price. So you got one there with a butterfly lip um, button pocket in the front. So you got your button pocket, behind that's the zipper. There's two of them, one to the left, one to the right decent size pocket. You can see, fit all the way my, my whole hand down in there. Then of course, you've got the satchels on the bottom so you can throw, if you have a travel rod and a tube, you can put that in, in this, uh, this wrench this down on it and carry that underneath, slung underneath. You've got multi slings here for what have you, tools, needle nose pliers, whatever you want. You've got uh, a series of those ringlets here, and there, there's three bands individual, so you could actually go in, out, in, or out, in, out, depending on what you're trying to, uh, to hold. It does have nice padding above the upper shoulder area, as well as the lower lumbar. That's good. Pl Plano uh, logo right here. There's your lower lumbar padding and your shoulder padding, so that make, makes it nice and flat for you. Into the main box main cavity comes with a series of two, four, five of those 3600 series Planos, and these are the large port and then the smaller port. They're not just the straight across, so you can put in your, your jigs and your um, spinner baits and things in the long side, and then your jerk baits and your worms and things like that on the short side. Comes also, on the fold-down flap, you've got a zippered compartment here, which is good. It runs only downward. It doesn't run up to the top of the, uh, of the package. It only runs to the bottom. But it's a substantial size pocket. It goes all the way down to the, to the bend in the, uh, in the canvas. It also comes with three mesh pockets right here. Three mesh pockets. So that's pretty good. And on the top... You have your shelf up here, which again, you can go get another set of Planos. They will fit in there, the smaller ones. And it has a webbed pocket here. I wonder if that's a dry one. Web mesh pocket for, great for people like YouTubers who camp, who, who camp and camera. So you can throw your camera gear in here, your spare batteries. Alright. Trying to find the zipper tab. It's got to be in the middle. I just can't see it because I hear it. There it is. It's all the way in. There we go. So that's a decent, that's a nice open mesh pocket here with the webbing on the front so it lets things dry out. But it's kept with that solid uh, canvas material on top so it's water resistant on the top. Obviously not waterproof because it's open on the sides. But uh, what you put in here, if you open this up and water is dripping down here, it's not going to infiltrate. And it will allow it to breathe so it'll dry out over time, whatever happens to be in there. I wouldn't obviously put paper or anything in this little mesh pocket. 
Um, it would have been nice to have seen a dry sack bag in here. Um, I have seen some of these large style backpacks where they have like a tube. It's just a cylinder tube and it actually velcros in and it comes out and that tube is 100% dry and you can put in there, you know, your wallet, your car keys, your, uh, you know, your, your, um, your glass, sunglasses, what have you, and it keeps them absolutely dry. Uh, your fishing license, obviously, and then it pops out as a, you know, and unzips the end and you can pull everything out, money, if you need to, which is nice. But this is also nice because it folds, it folds up to reveal a large crevice, um, chasm, or you can obviously fill it out, fill this pouch up, and then it'll tape up, take up that void space. But that's pretty good. This is a, I'm going to say I'm appreciative. This is a really good Plano original. I mean, obviously... When you get things like these in these box sets, they're older models. This is probably like a 2016 or 2017 um, design. But, uh, but hey, you're not going to find a Plano bag in Monster Bass. They're not going to ship you a full, uh, you know, canvas uh, fishing backpack. Um, as, a, as a, here you go, thank you for, uh, for subscribing. So... That's Aces. That's uh, $69.99. And last, the second item in my advanced tier, uh, which will, with that and this item, brings the entire advanced package to $172.93. Um, so just a little less than $100 total value for these two items is a Cast Kings Hiawasi Polarized Sunglasses. So... Definitely a staple for a bank angler. Um, the reason I say that over your typical uh, boat angler or kayak angler, typically on a kayak or a boat, I'm going to be running a fish finder. So polarized glasses are always great, but I can find the fish on the fish finder with my sonar. I don't need to worry about sight, sight fishing, except during spawn. Um, other than that, as, I, as when I go bank fishing, these are going to be gold. I do have polarized lens glasses. Um, they're not the best of brands. They're not the best of quality, uh, but they definitely serve the purpose. Um, I actually picked them up going into one of those thrift stores, uh, and they happened to be there in the thrift store for three bucks, and I grabbed them. They were brand new, still in the original packaging. Somebody obviously got them uh, when they went to a you know local retailer and decided they didn't want them. But now to have a, a name brand reputable company, and I will be putting these to the test because I don't have a whole lot of Cast King products. Um, but uh, it's nice to have something from a, a known brand to, uh, to give a test to. So these are Cast King Sunglass Care Instructions. Clean your sunglasses. Wipe your sunglasses with a fiberfiber cloth or lint-free cloth. Yes. Use fresh water only, warm, preferred, to clean the lenses. Salt water can damage the surface. Obviously, salt, salt crystals will scratch into the coating. Um, use dish soap, such as Dawn. Dawn is for everything! Dawn Platinum. That's what I use. Um, <laughs> it's good enough to clean uh, the poor birds in the in when they had the oil spill. Uh, God bless them down in Florida. Uh, it's good enough for me. So, uh, you know, kudos to, to that, to that uh, I guess, chemical composition. Um, wash your sunglasses uh, again to rinse the soap off. And lens cleaner spray is a good replacement for warm water or dish soap. Uh, make the lenses clean, spray, say blah, 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 blah. Okay, whoop de doo There you go. So, little instructions when you have your own personal uh, glasses. So, it comes with a nice little bright Cast Kings bag to keep it in, which is always good. Does not come with a microfiber cloth, which would have been nice. A nice neon orange microfiber uh, towelette to wipe these down with, but... It tells you to do it anyway, so you can go get your own. These have, all right, so these have got the smoked gray lenses. These are not the clear or the orange. And I would say it's a, it's a very important. Google what these lenses do. There are absolute times when a smoked gray or a clear or a amber or a blue lens will become beneficial. Uh, depth of water, sky, light conditions, weather pad all these things, uh, clarity of water, will constitute what lens tone you really want to go for. Uh, generally, I will say the amber tone is the tone that I have heard 
is the most uniform in pretty generally uh, pretty much any good condition you want that amber lens uh, the darker gray ones will give you issues but they look cooler and I technically I like darker gray glasses over wearing a bright orange piece of plastic in front of my uh, my eyes but uh, yeah definitely polarized Wow just in this in the lights that I have on the camera you can tell the, the difference um, but uh, yeah polarized sunglasses by cast King very good construction they've got that nice wraparound design which is always key keeps that sun glare off the side peripheral of your of your eyes so that makes sure that your sight line is is nice and clear and you can see that fish good little soft rubber nose and they've got that nice wide connection with a good hinge that goes all the way through it's not those little tiny plasticky hinges it'd be nice if this was a metal hinge i prefer the metal down the middle than the, than the plastic but it is what it is Obviously, it's a one-size-fits-all. I have a very odd-shaped head, and so it's not going to look exactly... I'm not going to go out to a, a nightclub or a bar wearing these. But, fishing, I'm not here to impress. I'm here to rip lips. <laughs> so, uh, I apologize for the long video, but I just wanted to tell you, you know, the reason for why it took so long to get the December box. Um, like I said, I did get emails. That, the good thing about this company is they are very transparent you contact them they immediately get back in contact with you they try their best to to um, you know make their public aware make their subscribers aware of what the what the issues are what's coming uh, they do do spoilers every once in a while on the Instagram on the Twitter where you can you know slide to the right and you can see one of the baits that are coming in your package um, Obviously, you don't have to. If you don't want to, don't slide to the right. You just go down to the next posting, and you won't know. It'll be a complete surprise. Uh, I didn't, so this was all a complete surprise to me. All in all, um, the Pro Box was a $72.95 value. The Advanced Tier brings that up to a total of $172.93. I'm going to say out of all of this, I am I'm pleased with what I got. I'm not pleased 100% with, you know, only getting one item in November. I'm not entirely pleased in waiting until January the 7th to get my December order. Uh, that notwithstanding, I can make exceptions for holidays and shipping, and obviously this was a, uh, one of these items in here was a supply chain issue. Um, and they were forefront with that, so I can let that pass. If they just said nothing and just kept their customers on the string, uh, you know, I would have a heck of a lot more disrespect for them than them being forefront and saying, oh, well, we're waiting, we, unfortunately, supply chain messed up, we're waiting on this company to come forward, and I can't blame Angler's Hall, I have to take up, well, if I knew which exact item it was, I would say, it's their fault. Uh, but it is what it is, and I got a great value, I got over $170 worth of items, so I made about $69 worth of uh, profit to me. 60 bucks worth of stuff. If that's just a free reel, or in this case, I'm liking to say I got a free tackle bag out of the whole deal. To buy something and get, here's a free tackle bag, that's a pretty darn good uh, investment in my eye. Um, again, all name brand stuff. Yozuri, Missile Baits 13, Plano, Cast King. You can't beat that. There's no BS. There is no such thing as an Angler Hall brand. Um, there's no Shop Angler's Hall uh, they just sell the boxes. So um, if you are interested and you want to see things like this come to you, if you're if you're already tapped out with your soft plastics and your crank baits, you've got a tackle bat box full of baits, and you know what? You only got three rods and two reels in your in your arsenal, or in this case, four rods and one reel. Now you can order from this company and potentially get reels. This is the third reel I've gotten. Um, two of the spinning and a bait caster from Angler's Hall. Check out my Angler's Hall videos in the past months. Um, you'll see you've gotten fishing uh, tackle bot bags, smaller than this obviously. Um, we've gotten uh, tackle storage utility boxes, we've gotten line, we've gotten baits, we've gotten knives, we've gotten scissors, we've gotten um, wacky rig tools. You name it, you can get it at any given month with the Angler's Hall. I recommend, if you can afford it, uh, going for the $109 um, Angler's Hall Advanced. The other tier is, I, th 
I, I will put the link down. I want to say it's $49, $50. Don't quote that. Look down in the description below. I'll have the link uh, or the, the actual price along with the descriptions of these as I do with all my videos, a full description and price range. And by all means, I will leave a, a link to order your own Angler's Hall if you wish. So there's a code going to be down there. Um, it will give you over to the Angler's Hall site. You can pick up either the Pro Box tier or the Advanced tier, and they do uh, periodically sell off past boxes. So if any of this appeases or appeals to you, I highly recommend it. I get enough baits from uh, Mystery Tackle Box. This has been absolutely wonderful for me to get things like bags, obviously a pair of sunglasses, you know, I've never gotten sunglasses. I knew I know Mystery Tackle Box has given uh, a pair of sunglasses out in one of their MTB subscriptions over the past, uh, but no other company, LTB, I don't think ever did. They're neither here nor there anymore. Um, but uh, it's nice to know that you can get things like uh, a decent name brand, polarized lens glasses, reels, rods, etc. So from me, and uh, we'll figure out a name for our foul mouth fishing uh, mascot. To all of my foul mouth fishing hookaholics out there, happy healthy new year. Thank you for being patient with the upload of this video. Um, it came today at, at 11 a.m. I got off work. It is now 6 p.m. So, uh, you know, try to get to it a ASAP. And then I got to be up in 12 hours to, uh, <laughs> to go back to work because we're, we're expecting snow. So at any rate, tight lines. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Again, if you want to, uh, to subscribe to the Angler's Hall, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And uh, I'll catch you in the next cast.